Hi guys, so we are back now then for this first game of the season, taking on Salford at home. Going to be a difficult test for us, our squad isn't fully complete yet, I'll show you what we've been doing in the transfer window. So most of these were pre-arranged, the likes of Luke Daniels the goalkeeper has now arrived, Matty Taylor a striker. This was one that I signed myself, we're paying 10% of his wages I believe, so £150 a week. For this winger from Brentford on loan. And he looks pretty decent to me. Three stars. He becomes probably our best winger at the club. This was one already done before I got here. A goalkeeper doesn't look particularly good. This is another one of mine. Keane Bryan. A defender released by West Brom around a year ago apparently. Okay, so he had a bad injury so that's a good start. But yeah, I remember him being at Sheffield United and playing a few games in the Premier League. And he's a really good pickup for us, I think. 26 years old, pretty versatile, can play centre back or left back or even defensive midfield. Four stars of current ability. Saying he's got a bit of potential, but I'm not too sure about that at 26 years old. But he's immediately our best centre back, so that's always helpful. This is another one of my signings, a goalkeeper on loan from Liverpool, Marcelo Pitaluga, Brazilian goalkeeper. Unfortunately, it's not the Brazilian goalkeeper we'd like from Liverpool, but we'll certainly take him. Pretty solid all round, good sort of one on ones and reflexes for this level, good agility. He's just naturally a sweeper keeper as well, which I was looking for. And again, we're only paying 10% of his wages, I think. Yeah, £300 a week. So, pretty pleased with that one. And we continued making loans from the Premier League. The next one was Micah Hamilton from Manchester City. Really versatile player. Looks like he's got bags of talent, can sort of do a bit of everything. Can play a bit deeper if we need him to as a playmaker, or higher up, or even out wide. Because he's got the pace to do it as well. Again, bags of potential, four stars current ability, five stars potential, and another one where we're paying, I think, okay, so that's 20% of his wages, but that's still a really good deal to get him in for just £600 a week for the season. This one was already done by the club. Right back doesn't look too bad, to be fair, lots of potential there. Can certainly work with it, it's got good physicals, but <laughs> not much else, but could be worse. This was another one that the club had already signed. Darnell Johnson can play centre back or right back. And I don't mind this one at all. He's on relatively low wages. Bit of potential about him. Can We do need sort of a good centre back and right back option, so I'll certainly take it. Previously been at Leicester but not really played. This was another one that I had no saying whatsoever. And I think it shows a little bit, only two stars of ability. So we won't expect to see too much of Dylan Kadji this season. And the final one, literally just signed today, on loan from Wigan. Fellow Asgard, I think he looks a really good midfielder. Again, he's pretty versatile. I think we'll mainly be using him as an attacking midfielder. But can drop a bit deeper or play out wide. And surprisingly, the Wigan have loaned him out, considering he played... 41 times in the championship last season scoring a few goals as well so again really happy with that one three and a half stars and he's going to go straight into the team today which i'll show you in a second just a few more things to get through we actually really overhauled the staff which isn't showing for some reason but yeah we certainly spent quite a lot of money sacking the old staff and employing some new ones it's looking a lot better now than it was. It was sort of, you know, how it is when you start one one and two star. So, we brought in some new staff there. I'll show you a few of the other ones. In terms of, like, the director of football we brought in, it's pretty good. As far as this level goes, a pretty good chief scout as well. Head physio with 18 physio, so just really looking to improve everything. Managed to get a set piece coaching as well. So we'll see how the set pieces go this season. Oh, and a new head of youth development, which I'm pretty happy with as well. So hopefully he can bring some good players through this season. 
But we are into our first game now, attacking on Salford. Have another look at the season preview just to see where they're predicted to finish. Okay, so pretty big test opening opening game. They're predicted to be automatically promoted this season. We're down there in 12th. So, yeah, pretty big challenge. So in terms of the team, we're going to go with the 4-2-3-1 to start the season, see how it goes. It's Peter Luger in goal. Johnson, Innes, Brian and Robson. I'll probably show you some of these. Robson's left, that's already here. Innes, centre-back. Bunker can play defence or midfield. We're going to play him as the ball winning midfielder. Charlie McCann is a deep line playmaker. Carl McAllister out on the right as an inside forward. Asgard's in for a debut as an attacking midfielder. Ada Dockens in on the left as a winger. And we'll go with Matty Stevens up front. I think he looks like our best striker at the moment. Pretty thin on the ground in terms of the squad, so we're still looking to do some more transfers before the window closes. But there's only a couple of thousand pounds left in wage budget to work with, so only maybe one or two more signings to make. Probably look for some more loans as well. So yeah, we can only just about fill the bench today. Give these players their squad numbers. See if I recognise anyone from Salford's team. A few players like Luke Garbutt. I'm going to say it's important we make home advantage count. No one seems too bothered. Great team talk there, just four players listening. So can we get off to a win first game of the season? I'd like to see us be putting in a good performance, keeping it competitive at least. It's like MK Don's already won their game. So I'll just change some of these settings quickly, play one setting up. We'll go to the key highlights as well. So we'll see if this is a kickoff highlight. Salford build down this right side now. Is this actually going to be a proper highlight or is it going to end? Innes intercepts. McAllister's got it in his own half. Back to the goalkeeper. Does have high eccentricity, which I'm a little bit worried about. The report says he's prone to doing the unexpected with or without the ball, but we'll see how it goes. Asgard with it now, finds Johnson the right back. Johnson lumps it forward, easy for Vassal to deal with. Garbutt, that's a loose ball though, McCann's on it in midfield. McCann brings it forward, finds Matty Stevens. Stevens fires it into the top corner. And what a start this is. McCann, the deep line playmaker, finds Stevens. Stevens has space on the edge of the box, he turns and shoots. Really good play from McCann. Stevens in space. Sort of like a cold shot. The keeper can't keep it out. And the perfect start to the season for us. 1-0 after just 10 minutes. Salford now with the ball. There McCann's got it now. What a great tackle that is from Bunker. Still got the ball though. Aruna finds Bailey. Bailey inside to McElhinney. And that's a great save from Peter Luger. The flag went up anyway for offside, but the keeper stopping him from point blank range there. Salford, you can see, have taken a bit of control of this game now. It's all them at the moment. We've got a corner now, though. McAllister with it. Whips in towards Inni, so he's a big target in the air. McAllister collects again. On to Asgard. Across to Robson, the left back, and it's just wide of the post. Another corner now, McAllister with it again. In towards Innes and just over the bar. The set piece coach already having a bit of an impact. I 
that's half time then we're a bit fortunate to be ahead from what we've seen especially in terms of xg but we'll certainly take it give them a bit of praise i think just get the morale up got another corner here McAllister with it again Johnson and it's deflected in the man on the line can't stop it and Johnson who I think he only signed yesterday for the club he's got a debut goal unexpected source the right back gets his head on it the keeper and the defender don't cover themselves in glory and it's 2-0 right at the start of the second half just what we needed we've got another corner here are we just a set piece team? Asgard with it again. It's a short one this time. And McAllister strikes it from the edge of the box. And it's 3 0 after 52 minutes. Different routine this time. Asgard to the edge of the box. McAllister first time curls it into the top right hand corner. And it looks like we're surely going to win this game now. And that's a poor free kick, we've given it away. Bailey forced all the way back to the keeper though. Look, they had a counter attack on there, but they don't make the most of it. Bailey into Hendry. Brian gets in with a good tackle, that's what we signed him for. Robson finds McCann. Round the corner to Asgard, he's tackled the. Vassell sends it forward, we should deal with that. Robson's got loads of time. Finds out a dock on and he's lost the ball. Hendry out to Araruna on the overlap. Add a dock and wins it back though. Finds Asgard. The counter attack's on here. Asgard. Finds McAllister again. And just over the bar this time. But we're not looking too bad at all here in the second half. Now we're gone, we've got a few touring players. I'm going to bring someone on for his debut in a second. I'm going to bring in Mika Hamilton, the Man City loanee. We're going to bring him in on that right-hand side. Said he was versatile. I think we'll just go with the one change for now. Don't want to lose momentum that we have. Fifteen to go. Bunkers tiring as well in midfield. I don't really think we have another ball winning midfielder at the moment. I mean Jenks is okay, I guess. He can go in there. And I'm gonna take off Add a Dock and that had the best game considering we're three nil up. I'm gonna bring in Amatoy out on that wing. It's more of a striker, but it'll do a job there for a little bit. So it looks like we're having another corner here. I've no idea what's happening with this highlight. Are we wasting time or? It seems to be waving his arms around frantically. Speed this up. Okay, we are going to finally take the court. No, we're not. That was one of the weirdest <laughs> FM highlights you'll ever see. Five to go. We'll make our final changes. Might as well get them all on. Troy Deeney's going to come on for a Forest Green debut. Can actually play him as an attacking midfielder, which says he can play. If we look at his attributes, he's not terrible at it. Just the agility, really. Everything else is pretty much okay for an attacking midfielder. And the final sub. I haven't got many options. We've got a centre back or a striker, so the striker can come on. Last few minutes, Sulphur got a corner, Bailey whips it in, McCann gets it away. Can we keep the clean sheet intact? Bailey into the box and Brian there again. So like I said, a really good game on debut.
to sail back to Cairns, out to Mariapa. And we've nicked it back, Troy Deeney, following to Taylor. Taylor shoots from range and it's a hopeful effort. As we approach five minutes of injury time. And that's gone about as well as I could have hoped for. Winning the first game of the season 3-0. A little bit lucky in terms of XG. Salford have had the higher XG slightly after a 3-0 win, which is pretty unlucky for them. But we had more shots, slightly more on target, way more corners as we saw. Nice work everyone, that was good. So into the promotion spaces after one game, we'll certainly take that. Johnson scores on his debut. Give him some praise. So we've still got a couple of weeks left of the transfer window. We're going to be doing some more business, I would expect. We've obviously got these players that are going to be arriving. Yeah, we've got another six players that were pre-arranged. I'll see if I can, if there's any more money to do any more transfers myself and if we need anything else. I was thinking in terms of squad depth, maybe another striker, but we already have loads, but it's more like the quality of them that I have a problem with, and maybe like one outstanding striker. Everywhere else I think is looking okay. I'd like another central midfielder, a bit more competition there. But overall we're looking pretty good at the moment, I think it's moving in the right direction. So I'm going to be back after the transfer window closes to show you what the squad's looking like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.